We've probably all heard the Ronald McDonald House Charities provide a home away from home for families that have a child in the hospital. Well, today, Executive Director Lisa Supernand is joined with mom and son Roxanne and Max Yanikos to share their firsthand story of how important this really is for families. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Wait till you hear their story. First, so of course, the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, people, I, you know the name, you see the signs. Again, let's explain the mission just a little bit to kind of explain why you were able to help this wonderful family here. Sure, you know, when you have a child that, that gets ill or a child who goes through trauma, there's so many things to think about. And what we don't want families to have to think about is where they're gonna stay, where they're going to eat, where they're gonna get support. And that's really the magic, as you'll hear from Roxanne and Max. There is a support system there that just wraps their arms around people dealing with the worst possible scenario. And um, we're just so honored to be able to help and serve these families in their most traumatic time. Yeah. And a very traumatic time. I think that that's exactly what you've mm -hmm. had to deal with. Roxanne, you were just explaining you were traveling from South Africa, little vacation right along the East Coast, when back in May, things did not go as planned, right? Absolutely. It was actually our first day in the area. Um, when Max was hit by a car, the traffic lights were faulty, and a car, and Max collided, and he was critically injured, very, very seriously injured. He had brain injuries, he fractured his neck and his back, and basically the whole right side of his body. Um, so he was rushed into Bayfront Hospital here in St. Pete's, and um, we weren't sure if he was going to make it or not. He was in a coma for a couple of weeks, and then when he came out of the coma, we had to go through a lot of intense therapy to get him to be able to walk again, to read again, to get his intellectual capabilities back up to normal, um, and just to become Max again. So it's taken months and months. But um, one thing I can say that it's been a saving grace is the Ronald McDonald House. We were referred to it by one of the medical staff when we were in the hospital. and. Um, from the first minute of the first day. They've been incredible, absolutely wonderful. Um, they provide meals, the accommodation's beautiful. Um, there's so much support, even just from the other families, because you're going through the same thing. And I had my other children with me uh, during the vacation. Mm -hmm. And one thing that was so nice was to know that they're safe, they're in a good place, a nice, clean, beautiful place. Um, I didn't have to worry about them. I didn't have to worry about anything. I could focus all my attention on Max and getting Max better and being able to take him back home in the good state that he's in now. And Max, you're doing, you seem like you're doing well, right? You're still in physical therapy. Uh, I go to physical therapy for my arm and stuff because it was in an immobilizing cast, meaning I couldn't move at all for like two months. And then now um, I'm at the end of my story now, but it's been rough, but thank you to them for being so genuine. Well, and Max, you were kind of in a unique situation because you were saying you were too tall to kind of go to all children, yeah, so you were um, kind of in between, which when you're dealing with a situation, especially as a tourist, and then to have these things about where are we gonna go, I can't imagine the level of stress that that made. It was, made it was absolutely terrifying. I don't have words to explain. Uh, we had just checked into the hotel that morning and we'd gone swimming in the afternoon and it was late afternoon when the accident happened. And literally we didn't know where we were. We didn't know where the hospitals oh, were. Yeah. And the culture is pretty different. We're from Africa. Very it's different. very first world. And it was terrifying. Um, so when the ambulance came, they initially were going to take him to all children's. Um, but it turned out he was too tall. Plus, Bayfront has the specialized trauma unit, which is apparently um, one of the best in mm -hmm. the state, if not in the country. So we were so blessed that he was able to get that level of care. And we've got the outcome that we have because mm -hmm. it was catastrophic injuries. We really shouldn't have this outcome. Well, we're again, very, very blessed. <laughs> and, he, and he looks great. I'm glad you're still with the physical therapy. Do we have a date to go home yet? Mm -hmm. um, we have one more small surgery left. <laughs> okay. It's nothing um, too big. They're just going to take the plate out of his elbow and then obviously I'd like to make sure the staples come out and it's all healed up and one or two physio sessions after that to make sure the elbow goes straight you know the arm can go straight and then we can go home will you come back I hope you don't let this <laughs> you know change uh, your view uh, I'll probably go to like if I do come back to America I'll probably go to like 
home. New York, <laughs> California. Well, we hope you come but back. I wouldn't come back to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, again, you know, I'm you've sorry. been through a lot. I'm so glad that you a joined lot. us. And of course, big kudos to the Ronald McDonald. Just one example of the good work that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And this time of year where people do want to give, you've got a special that people can give to to really help families. Yeah, we hope people will join us in supporting families like Roxanne and Max. Uh, give the Gift of Togetherness is our end of the year campaign that supports families day in and day out through their most traumatic incidences. We have four houses in Tampa Bay, three in St. Pete and one in Tampa. And this is what we do every day, keep families close. Oh, we will definitely come back. <laughs> Mom's saying they're gonna come back. We'll work on back. Again, thank you to all of you for yeah. joining us today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.